Okay, let's say that I want to create a dialogue in Scratch. I have two characters, three characters. Uh, they're talking about maybe this is a scene out of a book that you're recreating. Maybe they're having a discussion about something that happened in history or a scientific principle. Whatever the case may be, you can create this conversation between your characters. So what I want to do is first open up Scratch. Now, I've got one character built in. That's this cat. If I don't want to use the cat, I can just hit on this trash can. The cat will go away. Now I've got to bring in some additional characters. So I'm going to click on Choose a Sprite. And I can say, all right, maybe my first character is going to be Abby here. And I'm going to click on Abby, and now she shows up. I can click and hold and drag her to a different part of the screen. And then I can click on Choose a Sprite again. Uh, and maybe I'll scroll down, and uh, we'll choose Danny here. Okay, so now I've got Danny right there. Notice that I can come over here to the Costumes tab. And each of these characters has some different looks that I can go about uh, using with them. Okay, the other thing is Danny's looking a little bit big. So what I might do is click on the size here and change that size, uh, make Danny a little bit smaller. I can also come over here while still in the Costumes tab and flip Danny so he's facing the other way. So now my two characters are at least looking at each other. I'm going to click back on the Code tab here. And uh, just for fun, I'm going to come over here to the stage and click down here where I can choose a backdrop. And I'm going to put them in a different place, so maybe I'll just choose this chalkboard right here. And then I can bring these characters to back down so they actually look like they're on the floor. So now I've got them set up. I'm ready to create a dialogue. Well, the first thing I have to do is I've got to create an event. And I've got to decide who's going to start talking. So maybe Abby's going to start the conversation. And she's going to start the conversation when we click on the green flag. So that's an event. I go to events and I bring out when green flag is clicked. Notice that I could do it when a certain button on the keyboard is pressed. I can start the conversation that way. I can start it when the sprite itself is clicked. Okay, And so I've got a couple of other options about when the script might actually start. So now I want Danny to say something, or Abby to say something. So I'm going to go to looks, and I'm going to have her say, say hello. Now I can have her say hello, or I can have her think something. And you know, the difference is, you know, when you do the say, you're going to get the typical dialogue box that looks like that. If you do a think, it's going to have sort of that cloud-like uh, situation where she looks like she's kind of thinking. Now I'm going to do it for two seconds because I want it to eventually go away. If I just do say hello, then that hello is just going to stay there uh, until I tell it to go away. So that's inconvenient. So I'm going to bring that back out. I'm going to bring out say hello for two seconds. And I'm going to change what Abby says. So she might actually greet Danny. So I'll say, hi, Danny. How are you doing? OK. Now, I want Danny to respond. So I'm going to click on Danny. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to go to events. I'm going to say when the green flag is clicked. Now, if you recall, when I was here with Abby, um, she said, hi, Danny, how are you doing? And she's going to do that for two seconds. Well, I want Danny to wait for that two seconds. I want Danny to wait for Abby to finish. So if I click on Danny, I don't want Danny to start talking right away. So under control, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to bring out this wait. Now it says wait for one second, but Abby was talking for two. So I'm just going to click on that one and make it a two. And now I can go back to looks and I can have this say hello. And I can change the dialogue in here. I'm doing great. How are you? And so my conversation is now going to start. So there's Abby saying what she needs to say and Danny responding to her. If I feel like I need this more time, I can change it to two or three seconds. I just need to make sure that I have these wait commands going. Now what I would do with Abby to respond is I'd need to have her wait. So I go to events, or I'm sorry, I go to control, and I go to wait, wait for two seconds. And now we can continue with our conversation. So I go back to my looks, say hello for two seconds, and did you do that homework last night? And maybe I want this on for three seconds because it's a little bit longer. And then I would go to Danny, and the same kind of pattern is going to repeat itself. I'm going to go to Control. I'm going to bring out my weight, change that for two seconds, and they're going to continue this conversation. It was hard. I have a lot of questions. 
And so now, now when I click on the green flag, I can see that conversation play out. And you can see how it might continue going from here, where you might talk about whatever that homework situation was. Uh, notice that I did have two uh, conversations sort of overlap each other. So if I take a look at my scripting, I need to remember that this was done for three seconds. So back over here with Danny, I need to change this wait to three seconds to account for that. So you're going to have script uh, bugs along the way. You're going to have issues. And part of the challenge is trying to figure out where you went wrong. What did you program incorrectly that the computer made that mistake? And so now when I take a look at my script, it should everything should fall in line. And we can continue our conversation. It could be about science. It could be about math. It could be about social studies or English, just about any topic that you want.